In this question, we are asked, how do we build a minimum height binary search tree from a sorted array? First off, let's establish what is a binary search tree. Binary search tree is a tree which has the property that at every node, the, um, the left subtree is going to have values all less than or equal to the current node, and the right subtree will have all values greater than or equal to the node we're sitting at. And this isn't true for every node in the tree. And what we want to do is, from a sorted array, build as balanced a tree as possible. So we don't wanna just have it skewed one way, like a linked list saying negative two, zero, one, five, six. We want it to be balanced. And if we wanted to define this rigorously, we could talk about the absolute differences between subtrees not being more than one, and then this goes into the problem of calculating whether a binary tree is balanced. And then there's another video for that. But for this one, how would we build a tree from a sorted array and keep it balanced? Well, whenever we think about a binary search tree, we notice something really crucial. This binary search tree represents this array. This could be obtained from the inner order traversal of the tree. The inner order traversal is literally the traversal of each node within order. And we would visit the, we would go left, left, visit the one, node, visit the three, right, visit the four, backtrack, backtrack, node, visit the six, go to our right, we'd go then to our left, visit the seven, node, visit the eight, 12, visit that 12. That is the in order traversal. And if we notice where the position of critical items are, look at where the root is. The root of the tree is in the exact middle of the array. If we look at the left subtree, where's that item? It's in the middle of that subarray created between the start and the middle. And then where's the eight? We can see that it is the center of that tree. If you conceptually look at it, it actually looks like this against the array. Really, if we're comparing index for index, this is what this representation looks like stacked on top of the array. Whenever we're doing our tree, we're, it's basically like binary search. We're saying everyone's less than this guy, and then we're at the middle, and then everyone to the right is greater, everyone to the left is less. So if we wanna build as balanced a tree as possible from this case analysis we notice, we want to find the middle, we want to create a node, make it the root of a tree, and then we wanna build the subtree to the right, build the subtree to the left, and then ultimately, Throughout all our recursion, we're going to have built a balanced tree, as balanced as possible. We keep it balanced by aiming for the middles of these subsections we create by going left and right. Now let's look at the code for how we can approach this, and this recursive pattern is really something that's going to be useful for us in many other problems. We're given an integer array of numbers. We can actually break this down into an auxiliary function because we know that we want to root ourselves at a certain index and then go left and right. We can keep these parameters of our subarray bounds without creating a new array. We can just keep the ind indices or the indexes within recursive calls. So we can create a helper function that takes these extra parameters so that we can narrow our search space, create a node at the center, build left and build right. So let's create that helper. Okay, so we start out considering the whole range. We consider zero to the length of the array. And then we can craft a base case. If left is greater than or equal to the right, we just ultimately return null because we have no range to search. We have nothing to materialize. This is just going to be a null subtree. There's no values to go between and search. And this is really one of those difficult things, like if you're in an interview, you can't really know how well your base case is going to do with off by one errors unless you actually run the code. This is something that you just want to acknowledge with your interviewer because Honestly, I would not have figured out the exact case to put here if I hadn't maybe ran it once or twice and saw this messes up because it's hard to visualize the recursion because there's no way you can look into the memory. You can think about it, but thinking sometimes you'll mess up, so don't worry about it. And then after that, we have our base case. Now we need to create the new node from the center. Find the center and create the new node. And now we've created a node. We're sitting in a node. We found the midpoint, which this is just a way to calculate the midpoint to avoid overflow. Instead of doing left plus right divided by two, that plus operation can cause overflow. If we can calculate the exact half by using subtraction, we can avoid overflow instead of 
adding left and right, because if left and right are very large, we could overflow. In this case, we're only doing a decreasing operation, a division, decreasing operation, and we only add what is necessary. So we find the midpoint, and then we create the new node. Now we need to populate the left and right subtrees. We can't return to our caller without populating those subtrees. So let's populate them. And we continued our recursion. So what we do here is we populate the left subtree. We say left is the left boundary. The middle is the new right boundary. And then the left subtree will come back with a balanced tree generation from its subsection. And then the right subtree will build. It will build from the next guy after mid all the way to the right boundary. And that will generate a balanced right subtree. And then we return the new node because now it's populated and we trust our recursion is going to do its thing. It's going to resolve null and then it's going to build our first node and then we'll have a left and right to set to this guy. It'll build from the leaves upward and then we're going to have our answer ultimately with the trees sewed together. So this is what the recursive solution looks like to building the balanced tree from the sorted array. Ultimately, we pick the middle, create a node, populate the left and right, very, very common pattern you'll see here in deferring the work and saying, hey, go do your subroutine because we define the exact logic to have it uh, bring, give us what we want. In terms of time complexities, we're gonna touch end nodes. Nothing we're doing will scale with the input. It, it all looks constant here. It's constant time. So end nodes, constant work. We're ultimately going to use linear time. The space complexity is going to be O of H. The height of the tree is the, um, the, the depth of the call stack in terms of stack usage for the algorithm. That is how you build a binary search tree that is balanced from a uh, sorted list given to us. Code is in the description as well if you wanna check that out.